Hello, back again, your boy Vegan. Got something a little bit interesting. We got rat retrieval augmented thinking. So I saw this posted on Twitter and it's leveraging DeepSeek's reasoning capabilities to improve your responses. So we're gonna walk through this real quick, talk about it, and uh, I don't know, we'll find out if this is gonna be a, is it a game changer? Rag, you're doing rag still? I'm on rat now. So rat is a powerful tool that improves AI responses by leveraging DeepSeek's reasoning capabilities to guide other models through a structured thinking process. So we use DeepSeek's reasoning, we can then guide other models. I don't care what model, we can do Jippity, we can do Claude, we can do whatever you want, Llama. The idea for Rat emerged from an interesting discovery about DeepSeek R1's API capabilities. Also, I love that this person discovered something so interesting and after it's only been like a week, DeepSeek. By setting the final response token to one while retrieving the thinking process, it becomes possible to separate the reasoning stage from the final response generation. This insight led to the development of a two-stage approach that combines DeepSeek's, deep, DeepSeek's exceptional reasoning abilities with various response models. Love that. So a little link to the original thread, which we will read in a second, but RAT's two-stage approach, reasoning, uh, reasoning stage, which uses DeepSeek like we all know, generates detailed reasoning and analysis for each query, and then the response stage, we use open router. Open router means you can uh, uh, route to a bunch of different models, right? I don't care what model I'm gonna do, it's all gonna be the same API. Utilizing the reasoning context to provide informed, well-structured answers. So, hey, Jippity, use this beautiful little uh, reasoning plan to answer this question. This approach inserts more thoughtful, contextually aware, and reliable responses. So the features of this actual little chunk of code, which we'll open up the code a little bit here, is uh, model selection, flexibility to choose from open router. That's just open router's feature. Reasoning visibility, to, uh, toggle visibility of the AI's thinking, cool, I guess. Context awareness, maintains con uh, conversation context for more coherent interactions. If you want to run it, you got to make sure you have a deep seek API key, super easy to get, super cheap, maybe an open AI, maybe a, a Anthropic, whatever you're going to use for your uh, open router. And oh, they're also using uh, UV of, they're using the, the Rust, um, what is it, uh, package manager for Python, love that. Look, we got some rats over here, all in Python. So we'll read the thread in a second, but just to take a look at this, because look, at this is the, what I love about like code. Like we, we have repo, <laughs> you think it's gonna be a million lines of code? No, it's two. We got our init pie, let's see how big that sucker is. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> it just calls the main, oh, exit out of the repo. Let's open rat.py. It's 176 lines long, people. 176 lines long, okay? We could take this thing and have this thing converted over to Rust and lickety split quick. We actually probably might wanna do that and just publish that version. So let's just read through it. Code is easy. Code is easy. Uh, let's see if I get myself in trouble if I uh, do this. Go to code, do a little clone, and we'll go into a rat. Oh, well, if I could type, if I could open up my vim. Lovely, there we are, beautiful. How many lines is this thing? 176, I said that earlier. Uh, we're gonna import open app, we're gonna import OS, probably loads of environment variables. We're gonna use .m, but loads of environment variables. We've got from rich import print as r print, rich panel import panel, prop toolkit, prop toolkit styles, rich syntax, piper clip, paper clip, and time. Add import time, import time, add import time. Hmm. It seems like you have imported time, okay? Someone's got a pull request here. Uh, add local rat support. Update GitHub link on the readme. Maybe we want to get rid of this comment. Look at that. We might just contribute to open source if we do that. So model constants. We get our DeepSeek model. We got our open router model. This way it's hard coded to just jippity. Load our environment variables, which are gonna be our API keys. And we have our init function. Quite simple here. All we're doing is creating a DeepSeek client. Obviously here's the URL, there's the ID. Here's us at open router client. The open router, uh, Open router API key is going to be whatever you want it to be. It's going to be whatever, Claude or Jibbity. Store some messages, store some open router messages, put the current model to be the open router model, show the reasoning true, and then boom, we got a couple of little things here. We got some setters, and then here is DeepSeek reasoning. So first, we start timing. We append onto DeepSeek messages the actual user input, because this takes user input, this actual function. We print off reasoning process, and then we say, hey, chat completions, max tokens one that's the special sauce here we literally say max tokens one and we get back this response here and pass the message above we say to stream it we iterate through the response building up other uh, reasoning piece reasoning context of show reasoning show what we're printing off uh, if not really what we're just doing is is we're just getting this reasoning content out of it separate from this final content 
Okay, we say here's how long the elapsed time happens. We print off how long it happened. This this could be a little. We could refactor this a little bit. You know what I mean? You know, make this simpler. Come on, I'm not gonna do it myself here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> great, that worked great. AI. No, actually, wait. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Okay, cool. So then from here, we already have this reasoning. So now when you make your second query to an open router response, you would just pass in that user input and then you would pass in the sub reasoning. Now this function here is actually gonna be called by the, the larger function here, right? This main, which is asking for essentially user input. And then you can see the two little functions here, one after another. Get the reasoning, then get the response. This is so simple. This rat concept is so easy. We can put this into any language we want very, very easily. So I will definitely be trying this out with Rust like ASAP in some project and seeing what I get. Uh, let's take a little look at the Twitter thread. So, and this is the original person who posted it because it said right here. Also, let me look at the other, always look at every pull request, okay? It says update GitHub link for rat. Oh, okay, cool. There just wasn't, it wasn't fully working. But let me just double check. This Twitter thread is where he said, yep, okay. So old Gemini 1.5 punching way above its weight by borrowing thinking process from deep seek reasoner. Love that. Uh, so it's like rag, but for thinking. Rat. Wait, this guy named Rat? This guy named it two days ago? Okay, make sure I have this amazing thread. So by the way, you can just extract just the reasoning from deep seek reasoner, which means you can send that thinking process to any model you want before they answer. Like here, I turned 3.5 turbo into an absolute genius. Wow, you can do something like 3.5, make it a genius. That is crazy. So this is super awesome, super simple concept to comprehend. The little hack, this is gonna be so much AI, these little concepts, these little hacks. Okay, deep seek, just give it one token, get the reasoning model back, pass it somewhere else. So every person who uses uh, any sort of model can take can leverage this. You don't need to be using open router. You do have to be using deep seek. Deep seek, one call quickly to just grab out this little reasoning for it. Just say max tokens one, boom. Pass that as context to your next query. You're in the money. So super, super cool. Something I'm something I just wanted to I don't know, learn a little bit about. We just did learn about it here. I don't know. I'm gonna mess with it all day tomorrow. And uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll come back with some feedback. Maybe I will say it's stupid. This was a scam. But I have a feeling it's going to be pretty useful. So if you try it out, tell me what you think. And I'll be back tomorrow, every day, more AI stuff.